Okay. Make sure all is well. Mute this. Wait for the live chat to pop up. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's Monday morning. I am just waiting for the live chat to start up and then we can hang out for a little bit. I wanted to at least come on and say hi. It took me a little while to get live today because I totally slacked off on doing my shipping this morning. So I had to hurry and scramble and get all of my packages ready to go. That way, my when my postman gets here, all of the packages are ready to go. Now, I will say I didn't have a whole lot of packages going out. Unfortunately, I only had 15 for eBay and I think four for Poshmark. That's about it, which is a little disappointing. But even though it's disappointing, I am thankful for the sales that I have because I don't know about anybody else, but it's like scratching out eye someone's eyeballs to try to get them to buy things on eBay now. So I, I'm not going to complain about the number of sales I am, but I'm a little irritable. <laughs> I'm a little irritable. I will be the first to admit I have been a little bit salty over the last week. Um, I've been doing a lot of venting. I've been doing a lot of reflecting. I've been doing a lot of thinking and, um, and I've been like asking for signs. I'm like, if this is going to start working soon, give me a sign. And then the signs that I get are all super duper negative. And I'm just, I've just been really salty. So this live stream might be a bummer, you guys. I don't know how motivating I'm going to be today, but I am pretty salty right now. If you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, I seriously had to stop posting on Instagram. I put up that one post yesterday morning and then I walked away from Instagram for like the entire day because I knew that the mood I was in, I would just continue to post negativity on Instagram. And I'm like, nope, I, I was going to let it out in, in one post. I was going to get it all out of my system and then I was going to move on with my day. And... I woke up today and I'm still salty. And so I was like, maybe I won't go live. Maybe I'll wait it out or maybe I'll, but I think I'm just going to be salty. I think I'm just going to be salty. Colleen, you feel the same. Yeah. I used some good words. Which ones? I said some bad words. <laughs> I said some bad words. I usually don't say bad words in my posts, but I was really mad. Oh, Magic Mandy, thank you for the advice on the vacation status. You're welcome. Oh, that's what you mean. The bad words were good words. I get it. Yeah, because so anybody that like talks to me in real life knows that I really don't have a very clean mouth. I, I'm very mouthy and I use a lot of really bad words. But when I post on social media, I try to keep it as clean as I can because I don't want to offend everybody because not everybody, you know, uses bad words. Not everybody feels the need to use what I like to refer to as sentence emphasizers. So <laughs> I try to, you know, watch my language on social media. I try to be a professional, I guess you could say. Um, why am I salty? I am really salty over eBay right now. Like really salty over eBay. Um, there's just multiple things that keep happening to me. Well, okay, hold on. Let me go back. Keep happening to me. They're of course happening to me because it's what's making me so salty, but it's ha but multiple things are happening to lots of people. It's not like eBay's just coming after me. eBay's not like, "Landy, we're going to do all these things to screw you over." But it's happening to everybody, and it seems like there is um 
Johnny, you worked really, really hard at cleaning up your mouth. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to clean up your mouth. Okay, anyway, so, you know, Moody Mopey Monday. I like that. This is Moody Mopey Monday. So, okay, so it's not like, you know, eBay's not coming out to get me, you know. It's happening to everybody. But what seems to be happening is just this wide array of things. Like some people are losing their pictures. Some people are having zero views. Some people are having both. Some people, me, are having pictures completely swapped. And I'm like, how is this happening? Like I'm relisting my items and the wrong pictures are getting put in their place. And then I'm not able to locate the original pictures again. I'm like, why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? And then I call eBay and you know, I've mentioned, um, I mentioned to you guys before that I have eBay concierge because I went to eBay open last year. That was one of the perks that they gave everybody that attended eBay concierge, which is awesome because I think people have kind of referred to it as um, kind of like anchor support where you call into eBay, they recognize your telephone number and you get someone in America that has been with eBay for a really long time. You don't like call another country and get someone who barely speaks English and has only been in the company for two weeks. You know, you get a rep that has been around, they speak English, they know what's going on. Like every rep I've talked to um, in depth, they've told me you know, they've been with eBay for five years, four years, six years. And so I feel like I already have kind of a leg up with eBay concierge because I can call people and I can talk to people and they know who I am and they keep really good detailed history every time I call. And so if I call about another issue, they refer back to other phone calls I've made, which is really nice. And even the concierge reps don't seem to know what the fiddlesticks is going on. Like I called a rep yesterday because I was so irritated about all of these multiple things. And they had to keep putting me on hold and ask people because every time she would ask a supervisor or another rep, they would give her a different answer. And so if a supervisor gives her one answer and she heard something else from somebody else, then she has to go to another supervisor and, and make sure that she's not giving me wrong information. And so even the concierge reps sound confused and that worries me because if even the reps that are supposed to be the best reps that you can get are struggling to find answers, what the hell is going on on the platform? Are like, are they not filling in their reps? Are, I don't, I don't know what is going on. They don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. And so it's extremely frustrating and um, Michelle, eBay so focused on making this catalog, they don't mind breaking down the site. And I keep messing with my hair because I'm having a bad hair day too. That's another thing. I woke up having a bad hair day. I seriously took this clip and messed with my hair like 12 different times before I came live because it's just bad hair day. It's just, I've been salty. I'm really salty, really salty. <laughs> But, you know, uh, and now I will say this, Michelle, I will say this. So I do believe that if eBay is going to start implementing new policies, if they're going to start having glitches, if they're going to start having problems, it's best for that to happen during the summer because summer is really the one month that I see what you said. They're seems so mad I can't even talk. They're blaming it on summer slowdown because summer is the slowest quarter, right? So if they're going to implement updates and they are going to have glitches, I would rather they happen in summer and not, you know, fourth quarter. Um, so that's fine, whatever. But the problem that I have is that eBay is trying to change too much too fast and it keeps flunking everything up. And 
because we all know that eBay can't make a change without things going wrong, right? They can't make a change without things going wrong. They can't make a change without things glitching and like two or three weeks where there's just a bunch of nonsense. Why are they changing so much in such a short amount of time? They used to do two updates. And in the last 12 months, we've had three. And all three updates, they have taken away way more than they have given. And now I'm just going to start going on and on and on about what I posted on Instagram. But, you know, I have always been, and I will, uh, I will say again, I am not an eBay influencer. They do not tell me what I'm supposed to say. They do not say, oh, Lindy, please sugarcoat everything so people aren't mad at us. None of that. I get to speak my mind because they don't, they have no control over what I say. So if I'm pissed, I'm going to say I'm pissed. And so I was always of the mindset, eBay is a business. You know, I always try to look for the silver lining in every single situation, right? Yeah, bad things happen, but you got to look for the good because if you just focus on the bad all of the time, then everything is going to be negative. You have to look for the good. And so every single time eBay does one of these updates and we start struggling over all of these glitches and all of these things, because let's face it, not only are we not getting sales, but eBay is creating more work for us. When our pictures disappear, when our pictures get swapped and someone's buying something that, that is incorrect, or we get a duplicate listing somehow, that's creating more work for us, which is not cool. So I have always been of the mindset that eBay is a company and they have to change with the times. And we can't hate on them for that. If anything, we should be thankful that they're trying to keep up with the times. This is where I'm on eBay's side. If eBay doesn't change and keep up with the times, it's going to start losing buyers. And if we don't have buyers, sellers won't do business, right? We won't have anybody to buy our stuff. So we need eBay to move with the times. If they need to compete with Amazon, fine. So be it. If they need to try to get a leg up on Amazon to keep the buyers on the platform, I totally get that. I totally understand that. I know that eBay has board members and stockholders that they have to appease. They have to say, okay, look, here's all this profit. Look at all this profit we're making. We're going to, we're going to raise fees, you know, 0.15% and it's going to increase our profits, you know, $140 million. Look at how awesome we are. I get all of that. And eBay is still a well-known platform. eBay doesn't even really have to advertise. People know that eBay is there. But when is it enough? Like, when is it enough? How often... Do you need to stomp on your sellers before your sellers are just going to be like, peace out, I'm done, I'm done, I'm going to Amazon, I'm going to Poshmark, I'm going on Mercari, I'm doing local sales, I'm opening up a brick and mortar. You know, how many times does eBay have to step on us before we just start getting really pissed off? And right now it feels like, and I know it feels like it's to a lot of people because you guys told me. It feels like eBay has forgotten that keeping the sellers happy is what makes the site successful because all of these changes that eBay is making to the platform are going to mean diddly squat if they have no sellers for the buyers. It's not going to matter. And if all people can buy on eBay is the same stuff they can get on walmart.com or Amazon. There's no reason for them to stay on eBay. The thing that keeps buyers coming to eBay is the unique sellers. But if they keep stepping on the sellers, those unique sellers are going to go to Etsy and sell their, their unique stuff, or they're going to go to Poshmark to sell their clothing. They don't need eBay. There's so many other platforms. And if eBay is not careful, people are just going to peace out eBay. And I am seriously getting to that point. I'm seriously getting to that point. And it hurts my soul because I am so loyal to eBay. I mean, eBay has helped me and my family in some tough situations years ago. 
And because I started on eBay so long ago, I do have this inner loyalty. So where I am not an influencer and I don't sugarcoat things because they ask me to, I do have this inner loyalty to the platform because that platform was there and it helped me pay my bills when I had no money. You know, it helped me out of some really bad situations because eBay was really the only platform that could do that. It was the only way, you know, someone who was a nobody without a business could make a little bit of extra money. I mean, it was really before, um, it wasn't before Craigslist, but it was really early on when people weren't really you know, using Craigslist a whole lot, people were starting to shop online. It was way in the beginning. And as someone who is extremely loyal to a platform like eBay, like there's a soft spot in my heart for eBay, I am salty because I feel like eBay doesn't return that same loyalty to me. And I know it's weird because everybody's talking about, you know, we talk about eBay. It's a website. It's a series of numbers and, and digits and there's coders and you talk about eBay like it's an actual thing and it's mad at you, whatever. It's a website, blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about the company as a whole and how they treat their sellers and how they keep things and they they don't seem to keep things in mind. It seems like they're just so focused on keeping up with the times and implementing new things into the website and all of this stuff that they don't even think about how it's going to affect their sellers anymore. I mean, before when they would do up when they would do updates, if they would take something away, they would give us something else. Right. That's how they used to do it. They used to be like, OK, we're going to take this, but we're going to give you this. We're going to take this, but we're going to give you this. And then suddenly in the last 12 months, we're going to take this. No, 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 we'll keep this. Oh, we're going to take this, too. Oh, and this and this. Oh, and you see this little perk over here? Well, if you want this, you have to take returns for free. Do you want it? Okay, you want it? Then okay, we'll give you that. Um, oh, we're going to take this too. Oh, you want to run sales? Oh, it's mine now. <laughs> I get to do that now. So it just really feels like eBay doesn't care anymore about the sellers. And, and it's really disappointing because without the sellers, eBay's got nothing. They've got nothing without this, without the smaller sellers that are selling the things that keep people coming to eBay to shop. People have no reason to come to eBay. They'll just go to Amazon. They'll just go to walmart.com. They'll just go to Wayfair. They'll just go to any number of, of sites. If those are the only sellers that are left on eBay, there's no reason for people to shop on eBay when they can go to direct to the seller site. I mean, it's just, <sighs> but am I just going to pull all my stuff off eBay? No, that's silly. That's silly. I mean, there is absolutely no reason if you have, if you have a store on eBay and you're locked into a contract and you already have listings up on eBay there's absolutely no reason to just pull everything off, jump ship, and go to another platform. There's no reason for it. Woo. So there's there's no reason to just jump ship. Um, diversifying to other platforms, yes, there is big reason to do that. Um, but am I going to just suddenly pull all my stuff off eBay? No. Now, that being said, eBay Open is coming up. And I saw, I think it was Beth in the chat had said something um, like, I wonder what the uh, dynamic is going to be at eBay Open this year. Because there can't be a lot of sellers that are super duper happy with the platform right now. I have no idea how it's going to go. Um, but I expect to be running my mouth a lot. But the problem is you have to run your mouth to people that matter. Um, so 
I mean, I guess if you run your mouth to enough people, it'll get around. But you have to run your mouth to the people that actually have pull and matter. And there are a lot of reps around eBay open. There's a lot of people that you can talk to, a lot of people that can answer questions. But the number of people that actually have pull are going to be few and far between. And I really expect that a lot of the reps that are accessible to all of us at eBay Open, I really think that they are going to be uh, pre-programmed with a lot of answers. Um, I don't think we're going to get a lot of information. We're going to get a lot of, um, we're going to get a lot of just hold on kind of thing. We're working through it. We're aware of the glitches. James Thrift sent a $2 super chat. Thank you. eBay open should definitely be interesting. It will be interesting. It'll be very interesting. They better be throwing a really good party. <laughs> It better be a good party this year. Euro extreme, anger, confusion, frustration, and gambling. Don't forget alcohol. There's going to be plenty of alcohol. But I will say this, though. Last year at eBay Open, um, people were very, very happy. Even after the update had come out, um, even after the update had come out last summer, when they were dropping the final value fee credit from 20% to 10%, um, and then they, uh, let's see, what did they do last summer? Last summer, they took the final value fee credit and they dropped it from 20% to 10%. And then you, um, you had to maintain 95% uh, validated shipping as opposed to 90%. I think those were the, I think those were the big things. And so I know a lot of people were upset for, you know, they lost money. I mean, you lose 10% worth of your final value fee credit. People were, you know, pretty pissed about that, but nobody was really doing a lot of complaining at eBay open last year. I really expect this year is probably going to be different. And I would expect that the higher ups at eBay are probably going to be doing a lot of hiding this year. They were kind of like out in full force last year. I think they're going to be hiding. Don't be upset about it. Embrace the change and new opportunities. Don't be bitter. This has, this has been the way of changing business since business began. I know. And it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm just going to be bitter and hate eBay for the rest of my life. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm not even saying that I'm going to just jump ship from the platform. For all I know, a month could go by and everything smooths itself out and everything is fine. But today, for right now, I am super salty. I am super salty that I have more work cut out for me because of things that are not in my control. I am extremely upset that I cannot... I, I can no longer run my business the way I want to run my business because eBay basically says, oh, you can only do a certain amount of markdowns now. And see, and that's the thing too. It's not just the markdown. You know, with the markdowns now, you have to hold a price for 14 days before you can run a sale. It's not just about having to hold a price for 14 days to run a sale. It's about, you can't even run back to back sales now. Like, if you run a sale and it ends, unless you're in a new window, you can't run another sale. So that is messed up because they're saying that, yeah, you can run a sale, but you can only do one, you know? And it's just, I don't like, when someone else has more control over my business than I do. It really, really upsets me. Just had your best June sales ever. And that's awesome. There are some people that are still doing so well. And that is awesome. Um, I will say that my sales were doing really, really, really well until the markdown change happened. Like I was... 
maintaining and for and for summer slowdown being able to maintain was a good thing because normally you're like okay here's all my sales and then june hits and you're like boo but for me i was like okay here's my sales and then june came and i'm just like okay well i'm still going i'm not seeing a drop off but then as soon as the update happened where you can't run sales anymore my my sales literally went into the toilet like i have no traffic no impressions i am in the toilet which is why my shirt is kind of like a um i don't know if you want to call it satire or maybe you want to call it uh an oxymoron i don't know what you want to call it but it makes me feel better. I'm like, I'm killing it. Yes, I'm sobbing and the mascara is running. I'm killing it, I swear, I'm killing it. So, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm so used to being able to run sales to drive traffic and now I can't. And it's extremely frustrating because even if I want to run my business a certain way, I can't because the platform tells me that I can no longer do that. And that, um, is really, really, really frustrating. Sales are still way better than yours. Well, that's why I'm saying I'm, that's why I started at the very beginning of the video. I only had, um, I had 15 packages go out on eBay over the weekend. And I am so thankful for those 15. I started the video saying that. I know a lot of you guys came in later. I was so thankful for those 15 packages that I had because I know that there are a lot of people I've seen people say like they haven't had any sales, any sales since like the middle of last week when that um, when that update started. Um, so I'm extremely thankful for the um, for the sales that I do have. It's nowhere near what I would normally get, but I am so thankful for the ones that I do have. Um, Oh, and then I'm also a little bit salty because I had two returns back to back and, and they're high dollar returns. Like I have to refund after paying it's the shipping labels themselves. Since I do free returns now, I have to pay $16 for two return labels. And then I have to refund about $150 after they come back. So I have to take almost $200 out of my account within like two days, within two days of each other. Marina, you too have to re refund 125. Yeah. And so that was just like a kick in the cojones because I'm just like, <laughs> not only are sales sucking really bad, but the good sales I've gotten, I have to refund for buyer's remorse. I have to refund them for buyer's remorse. That's it. It's like, eh, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. There's three, there was three. I forgot about the third one. The label is going to be like $7 and it's like a $45 refund. So make it closer to like $230, $220. I don't know, over $200 worth of returns I have to do. There's three. And it was all for buyer's remorse. It was all for and fit. One of them was fit. And it's just, that was probably the one thing that just made me over the top upset. Because when all of these bad things are happening and you're like, man, at least I have these sales. At least I have these sales. And then all of a sudden you get $200 worth of returns, like within a few days, you're like, what is going on? And it's no fault of my own. These returns are no fault of my own. They just don't want them anymore. And so that probably made me extra salty too. Oh, Connie, I, I know this question has nothing to do with eBay. How do you set up a YouTube channel without using your real name? I had to set one up thinking, uh, to use my real name. I'm pretty sure if you go into your Gmail, whatever the, whatever Gmail you use to sign up, um, for YouTube, whatever email you use, whatever the name is in 
the Gmail. That's what it is. So if you go to the Gmail and you change your name in the Gmail, not, not the actual Gmail name, but like where it says, hey, what's your first and last name when you sign up for your Gmail? Um, then whatever that name is, is what appears on your YouTube channel, I think. I'm pretty sure. Marina, scroll back. Okay, what did I miss? Oh no, Mirna. Sales are so bad I have to lose half of my eBay open tickets because there's no way I can make it anymore. Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is such a bummer. You know, and that's something else too. You wouldn't think that eBay would want to be making people mad so close to eBay open. You would think that that any um you would think that any issues that were going on, they would like fix really fast. And if they weren't fixing them, they would be handing out credits like it's nobody's business. They would be like, you get a credit and you get a credit and you get a credit. And, and, and we're going to just comp all of your, your, store subscription fees for the next month. We are so sorry. So that people that go to open aren't pissed off but they're not doing that and I don't understand it. They expect us to have good customer service for our buyers and they have crappy customer service to their sellers. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. eBay is all about good customer service. You provide good customer service to your buyers, but then when it comes to customer service for eBay for their sellers, they don't care. They don't care. At least that's the way it feels eBay, if you care, show me you care. Really, show me you care. Pick up the phone and call me and tell me you care. And I will tell everybody that you care. Call me, you have my number. <laughs> I'm just like. <sighs> Claire, it's Ninja, hey. Just got back from Vegas. You must book tickets to see the Beatles love show. Get seats in the upper deck. You'll thank me later. Okay. Although, is it bad if I don't like the Beatles? Did I just like make everybody hate me for a second? I'm not a big Beatles fan. Is If it's a good show, then it might be worth it. But... <laughs> Okay. Oh, I need to go in like two minutes. I have to go pick up Benjamin. I just noticed the time. I'm like, oh no. Greed is taking over. I agree. I agree. I really do believe. And I saw somebody and I'm sorry that I can't remember who it was on my post on Instagram, but I saw somebody comment that they believe that eBay has forgotten what put them on the map. And it was the sellers. The sellers on the site is what put them on the map. And they have forgotten that. They've become so focused on changing their site and doing all of these things that they think they need to do to compete with Amazon and these other sites. I really do believe that they have completely forgotten the very basics of what makes the site great. And it just doesn't make anybody feel good. It doesn't make anybody feel good. Oh, Renee, good news for you. I take my real estate license exam next week and already signed with a big company. <gasps> Woo my little brother got his real estate license and he said it was the best thing he could have done. He makes so much good money now. He tried to talk me into doing it and just like selling houses on the weekends. Um, I told him that there is no way I could do that right now, but I will think about it in the future because my brother is constantly talking about how much he loves being a real estate agent. He says he loves it. He makes such good money. <laughs> oh, what does your dad think about all of this, Lindy? Oh, man. Oh, my dad has not been happy with eBay for a long time. As a matter of fact, every time I talk to my dad uh, about eBay, he says he's going to quit. He's been saying he's going to quit eBay for like two years now. There's always like a, a buyer that's pissed him off or something that the website has done or um, 
eBay sided with the buyer. Like there's so many stories he's told me and he's just like, I'm about done. And then the next time I talk to him, I'm like, Hey dad, what'd you do today? Well, I went garage selling for eBay. <laughs> so I'm like, well, dad, you can't quit eBay if you keep sourcing for eBay. But no, it's one of those things. My, my dad is a creature of habit, just like I'm a creature of habit. You know, I'm comfortable with the eBay platform and I feel like I know all the rules and I just don't like all of the policy updates. Does your dad cross post? No, my dad only sells on eBay. Only sells on eBay. And he keeps saying he's just going to quit, but I can't see him ever quitting. But he's big into like um, following like forums and stuff to learn what's going on. Like he tells me all of these website forums that he follows with people that have all of these conspiracy theories for eBay and people who are really jaded against eBay and stuff. He's like always reading. And like every time I complained to him about something with eBay, he was like, oh, you should have read what these people posted on the forum. So it's just, it's funny. It's funny. Okay, you guys, but I do really have to go because I have to pick up Benjamin. But um, so good news, I mentioned last week in my live stream, I do have that swap.com video ready and it's going to be posted tomorrow morning. So watch for that. Um, making money using swap.com for consignment. I know a lot of people have used ThreadUp and other websites, but I tried swap.com and I did a video about my experience with it over the last, oh my gosh, my nose is itching. Um, my experience with swap.com over the last like eight months or so. So I did a video all about that and it will go live tomorrow. Um, but for now, I do have to go. Thank you guys for venting with me. If you're irritated and want to get it off your chest, smash the thumbs up button. Take it out. Take out your aggression on the thumbs up button. <laughs> Don't break your mouse. Break the thumbs up button. Because I know, you know, and I know I'm always, I'm trying to be positive all the time. I really am. You know, every time something bad happens, I do like looking for the silver lining. But sometimes, man, enough is enough. And I feel like I just really wanted to get all that stuff off my chest because I am super salty. And it's not like I'm pulling everything off of eBay today and moving over to other platforms. I'm still keeping my stuff over there. But I'm telling you, if anybody from eBay has watched this, I am expressing what thousands of others are feeling. And it's just, Michelle, yes, it's good to vent. Sometimes it just feels good to vent. It, just, it does. And I can't just scream at my husband all the time. I don't want to end up divorced, you know, <laughs> with my husband being like, stop complaining about eBay. Because my husband's whole mindset is, well, then stop selling on the platform if you don't like it, you know. But, uh, and Mirna, I'm so sorry you can't go now. That's so disappointing, girl. That is so disappointing. But all right, you guys, let's go try to motivate ourselves to like list things, I guess and cross post over to other platforms until eBay gets its act together. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. Thank you all for letting me vent. I appreciate it. I will talk to you all later in the week. I'll have that swap.com video up tomorrow. Smile, happy face. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.